guys so welcome to a brand new vlog as the title says this is an honest chat about a really bad week that i've had this week um you're gonna have to excuse how bad i look i'm being honest so this week started off quite bad last week um on friday i was quite poorly um i'd started on a new medication last week um for my trigeminal neuralgia and it didn't go very well i was nauseous a tummy ache I've, we had a grumbling appendix going on um i did try to get myself sorted and um i, I had to cancel going to Alton towers with max so nick took him and a friend dropped them off came back to look after me then went back at five four o'clock to pick them back up for five so that was i, I just laid asleep all day that day and then on um, sunday I did manage to go out for breakfast and um, and then we went out for lunch um, but then the next day I didn't get out of bed all day Monday I just slept continuously all day in bed which is difficult because Nick works upstairs in the bedroom so I was obviously just asleep on the bed with the cat all day Tuesday we were at A&E um, because of the appendicitis that I'd got um, but when I got there, after two hours of sat waiting in agony, um, I'd still not seen triage by this point. So I decided enough is enough. Um, Nick went and asked how much longer for triage. And um, you're going to have to turn this down a bit, Charlotte. It's on too. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do a video and Charlotte's watching TV. Um, yes, um, so triage was going to be another hour. And then she said it was an eight hour wait. I said, what, with appendicitis? Anyway, I decided to go home, because it had been grumbling for about a week at this point. So I decided to go home and get some rest and I'd see the GP the next day. Again, I didn't get up in time to bring the GP because I just slept all day. But yeah, it's just been one of those weeks. Um, I'll be honest, I've, I've not been in the shower um, since Sunday. It's now Thursday. My air is dirty. I've just pulled it back. I have PCOS. PCOS polycystic ovaries and I have quite a lot of facial hair it's grey but I've not done that in since Monday since Sunday so yeah it gives my face a rest but I have to shave my face every single day um, I've got a good razor it's a man's razor because women's razors are crap I'll be honest <laughs> It was a Gillette razor. I've been doing my face for 20, over 20 years. I was doing it before I met Nick and I've been with Nick 21 years, so. But yeah, it's just a part of daily life. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. Well, online, telling you people. Uh, my family know, obviously, but it's just one of those things. It's me. I suffer with so much. And, you know, sometimes just letting it out and talking about it is the best way. Um, I've been sat here feeling a bit yesterday I felt a bit better and I binge watched Bridgerton all day and it was so good I really enjoyed it I thought season two was actually better than season one so if you've not seen season two yet get on to it because it's amazing today um I just had a few walnuts for breakfast and some strawberries and I've not had lunch yet even though it's a, just gone 10 to 3 because Nick worked half 11 today well, he has all week half past 11 in the morning to late at night so it's a real weird shift he'll have his lunch break anytime in the next from three o'clock to three thirty. so i'll probably have some spaghetti and toast uh that's just what i fancy i think there's some spaghetti left um but that's that's just what i'm gonna have for my for my lunch come dinner um but max has asked if i can make a mac and cheese later and i said i will if you if you make it with me Charlotte doesn't like my mac and cheese, so she's probably going to have to have something different. But we've not been shopping, we've not been anywhere all week. Brandon's been using the car, as I say, because um, they've only got one car at the moment. And Nick's working from home, he's had the car, apart from Tuesday night when Nick walked around to get it and to drive us, obviously, to A&E. So, yes, a um, lot of plans for the weekend. Um, tomorrow... I don't think there's much going on tomorrow. I've got a delivery coming. Um, I ordered Max's watch for his birthday. He's wanting a Tommy Hilfiger watch. That's been ordered from Amazon, so that's coming tomorrow. Um, what else have we got on? Um, Saturday, we're going to Chesington. Fingers crossed that I'm feeling much better, which I am doing today. So we're going to Chesington, Nick, myself, Max, and one of his friends called Kai. 
Um, that's that's on Saturday, and then Sunday is my daughter Charlotte's 19th birthday. Can you believe she's 19? Um, she's going out on Saturday night with her friends, boyfriend and friends, and um, she's staying in an hotel, and then we'll be coming home hopefully late afternoon to open her presents, and then we're going to go out for a beautiful meal with her, her boyfriend, Max, myself and Nick. So that's the weekend sorted. And then, um, obviously, Max has been out of school this week because there was a bullying incident last Friday and it had not been resolved. Well, anyway, Nick, my husband, has been into school for a meeting today at 8 o'clock and they've resolved most of the things and everything's going okay. So Max is back in school tomorrow. He's only got till Thursday next week and then he breaks up for Easter, Easter half term. So yeah, so like I said, it's been a honest chat to tell you how things are going. Nick's not been very well the last couple of days, um, but obviously he's working all week this week. Um, he's off for the weekend, obviously, which he can't wait for. Charlotte's had a busy week. She's had a bit of bad luck today, haven't you, darling? She said it comes in freeze. Um, so that's it. Hopefully things are going to be better for the weekend for her for her birthday. Um, but yeah, all is good apart from that, so... Thank you, thank you for listening guys and hopefully the next video I'm not going to look as rough as this because I'm going to have a nice soak in the bath tonight, get everything sorted that should be sorted and yes I will look forward to seeing you in the next video so if you enjoyed this little chat with me give it a big thumbs up and like I, I always say be honest, talk about things, it's good to get it out in the open. Um, like this, again, thank you for watching and um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, it helps. So thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye for now. Bye 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 bye. Jump into the